right, hey everyone, how's it going today? I uh, hope everyone's having a good day. And uh, thanks for watching this uh, silly little video here. This is just a video directed towards the lovely, lovely Beyonce Beehive fans. They've been, uh, for the most part, wonderful and uh, very uh, supportive of uh, myself and Nathan on our channel as we listen to Beyonce music. And I just got off work. I can't take my cell phone into work because it's a secret place can't have any cell phones. So I checked all my messages on the uh, today's release of the latest Beyonce reaction we did of uh, uh, the Cowboy Carter album. Or what was it? The Post Malone song or whatever. And my goodness gracious, you would think, you would think that we just said this is the worst piece of garbage we ever heard in our life. We have people saying stuff like, I can't believe you're here already. How dare you? What are you doing? Ah! Just because we weren't crazy about the song. Now, here's the thing. I wonder if we were crazy about the song. Uh, if we were happy to be crazy about the song, people would have been like, oh, that's amazing that you guys did this jump and you're, you love the song. But because we weren't... I don't even remember what we said. I don't. I can't remember every single uh, reaction that we, we say about every song. But the point is, I think we were probably lukewarm. Because I don't think we've ever hated anything that Beyonce's done. So... Uh, Anyways, the point being is, is everyone has to relax. A lot of people are saying stuff like, what's your what's your guy doing? I, I don't know if people don't listen to the videos or what Nathan and I when we talk, but the guy d didn't give us the song. It was a patron. Somebody paid for it. Look, patrons get full whatever they want. They want us to react to freaking Kermit the Frog singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow and they pay for it. Nathan and I will react to it. So what this patron did was, he said, hey guys, I want you to listen to a couple songs from her latest album. Guess what we did? We took her money, and we did the reaction, and our patron enjoyed our reaction. That's actually all, not all we care, but what I'm saying is, so just pretend we weren't doing Beyonce at all, and this patron gave us a Beyonce song to react to. You following what I'm saying? So Nathan and I, on our own, started the Beyonce journey on our own, and we got a guy to kind of help us with, like, what are some of the live performances, like the Oprah thing that we did, or the uh, uh, this or that, and you know, to kind of just gear us towards certain videos that we should watch, especially the live performances of like standalone videos, because we didn't want to go searching through the internet, listening to things to see if it's worth reacting to, because then, no, that's not a first time reaction, because unlike other reaction channels, we actually do a first time reaction. We don't listen to things ahead of time, okay? So, uh, I'm not sure if that clarifies everything. I'm not sure what people want from us. The funny thing is, is think about Beyonce for a second, or any artist. Now, let's say that artist, Beyonce, releases a new album. Can you imagine the artist saying, hey guys, before you listen to this song that I've put out as a single, I want you to listen to every other freaking song I've ever released before you listen to the song that I just released. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the exhausting process that would be so that's the kind of comments we're getting. This is what I don't understand. So I'm an artist. I have a 20, 25 year career behind me. Cool. I release a new song, but you people on the internet, on YouTube, you cannot listen to my new song until you've listened to everything else I've done. What would be the point of an artist releasing a single? You get what I'm saying? Do you think that artist never wants a new listener? It doesn't want somebody else to listen to the song cold for the first time. They have to be completely aware of their whole life and background. Every single meaning of every single lyric of every... No, it's a song. At the end of the day, it's a song, folks. It's just a song. And Beyonce is just an artist. She's just a person. We love her, but she's human. She's just an artist. Not everything that every artist does is amazing. And if, if every song that every artist re releases has to be understood by previous work... Good luck finding new fans. Good luck. Okay, so there's my little rant. You know, I, you can go ahead and say your comments and say we're doing this or doing that. That's fine. Nathan and I are very happy with the way we're doing things. We enjoy the support people are giving us. But I'm just perplexed. I'm perplexed by the people that watch reaction channels. I guess that's what it is too. Do you understand how reaction channels work? People who truly react don't know anything. That's why they're reacting. They're listening to a song for the first time. Because it's a cold reaction. They don't know what they're getting themselves into. And sometimes some fandoms can be pretty exhausting Where for reactors to go like, oh my God, can I not just listen to a song and have you guys not shite all over us because we didn't react the way you wanted? And that's the other thing. Can you imagine if we liked every... Now, if you're following our channel, 
Can you imagine if we liked every song the same? How engaging would our channel truly be for you? Or is that what you need? Are there people who actually watch YouTube who literally need to have their balls washed every time a reactor reacts to something? Where you have to watch somebody watch your song go, that was amazing, that was the best. Those reactors effing suck. I'm sick of them. They're freaking liars. They just do that to pander to the audience. And Nathan and I refuse to do that. I'm so sick of those reactors. And you know who you are, you stupid reactors. I'm sorry. I, I guess I'm a little bit honorary right now. Those reactors who sit there and say they like every song the same, ah, it's it's annoying, it's fake, and you want people who watch it by the tens of thousands and say, yeah, you like it the way I do. You guys are being played, man. You're being played by reactors looking for your views. Anyways, continue watching our Beyonce journey or don't. You don't have to tell me you're unsubscribing. It's not an airport. You don't have to announce your departure. Just go. Or if you like our honest reactions to the songs that we're doing, then great, stick around. Because we love Beyonce, but not every song is created equal. It's ridiculous to think so. I don't, I don't know how any fan of any artist could like every song the same. That's ridiculous. There's not one artist I like where I like older songs the same. That's boring. I actually find that boring. There are some songs that strike me better than others. Okay? Anyways, guys, that's my little rant, my little whatever. Hope you appreciate it. If you don't, I don't really care. Bye. Talk to you later.